Hello world, lockpicking dev. Today we have a master number five and we're going to try to impression it. I have no laminated master locks in my collection at all. Um, the only laminated master locks I have are without keys. So I, I decided to save some of the nicest ones I had and just impression them. Anyways, here we go. I'm just gonna get moving right into it. I already have my key prepped, the lines drawn. I got my magnif magnification file and key decoder over here. Truthfully, I just started this and I broke it instantly, so starting over and being more careful with how heavy handed I am on the key here. Looks like possibly position four is the first one we're going to go to. I'm going to check with our loop here. Yeah, small dots in room four, but let's stick it back in. It's not just some dirt there. That does look like four. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that down. A little bit more lined up because that line that I have marked is not quite there. There we go. There we go. Bit. Looks like four again. Double check. It's not painfully obvious to me. How far on one, I do see a little bit more of a mark there, so I'm going to go ahead and take down one a little bit. Like and two, I have two or three. I was screwed up when I slipped that first time. So I'm just using some 400 grit right here. Try to polish it down just a little bit. Which isn't always the best idea because the marks from your file are great for seeing what the pins smash in. But that was just a little too rough for me and not quite on the spot, so I wanted to make sure. Looks like an obvious mark in four. <clears throat> yep, and one. Let's Yeah, four is a good mark, and one is a good mark as well. Four is more pronounced, so I'm gonna go with that. I see an obvious dent there. I'm going to do a soft stroke on one. Uh, just to get rid of that mark I saw. Because it was a dent, but I don't want to take it down too far yet either. I like using a rag to clean off my keys because it sticks to the brass shavings really well. Let's check my key, make sure I'm not bending it too much or anything yet.
Looks like a mark on one. Looks like a mark on one. Yep. So I'm going to measure it now just to see where it's at. Make sure I take it down to the right spot. Okay. Soft one. It's not go too far. Another mark on one, but I'll make sure it's just not a drag tail. Oh no, that's a mark. It looks a little off. It's obvious. Mark though. Let's check with our loop. It's there. Okay, I'm going to take down one a little bit more. Make sure my handle wasn't hitting the nubs there, but it's not. See some little marks in two and three now, but let's go back over it just to make sure. And then scratch that around two. I think it is on three. Go over here to a different light. It does look like it's three. I'm gonna go ahead and hit three. So here's our key so far. Just making sure the key is fully in there. I almost feel like Moving a little bit of the bow, the key here might help a little bit, but we'll keep going. It looks like a mark on three. And check the other ones just to make sure. Yep. I'm at a depth of three right now. And look back over this just to make sure. Looks like I 
A little bit more on three there. Take it down to a depth of four. It wasn't too far away from that already. Seen a whole lot. I'm pull it under a different light here. There is pin four. See a little mark on four, but I'm seeing more on two now, so I'm gonna enter a different light. The mark on four looks more real, so we're gonna go with that one. It's deep though. So I'm doing a whole lot. Marking four. Hopefully, we didn't go too deep on it. Let's see if I can get that to focus for you. Hey, you can't quite see it in the video. But it looks like a nice, obvious marking four there. So, we're going to hit that one again. Another blankly obvious mark on four. Again, I hope I didn't over file it. That's a that's a dent dent. Hit that again. And I forgot that my my line on four is just a little bit off here. And it is the mark is just a little bit to the side there, so. That little bit that I'm seeing on two there, I'm just gonna 
hand it off just to make sure. Looks like there's a mark on three. Yep. Hit that. Let's see where it's at. It's about a four, just barely a four, so Let's give it some good files here. And I have no doubt that two's gonna have to come down. I'm giving our max adjacent cut specification. It's still okay right now, but I'm betting we're gonna have to take that down a notch. In fact, let's just make sure while we're at it that there's no marks around there. Yeah, nothing obvious yet. And I'm not seeing anything on three, four, or one. I do see a little mark on two now, so we are going to take this down. This is the hardest part. Let's highlight that. So you can also do this right here. Since it's sticking up. So you just want to keep it flat. The only thing that's hard about this, especially this little one, is and it flat on there. There we go. I use a flat one as opposed to a round file for this part because I have the time and a flat surface has more area to leave a mark on than a dipped and rounded surface. And I don't do that all the time, so it really just depends on the depth of what's going on at that moment. But this one's sticking out higher than everything else, so it's okay. Just a little bit more. Definitely two. So I'm going to hit it again with the flat one because personally I want to keep a flat surface. When I'm done with this, the, the key won't look great, which is fine, I don't care. I just want the open. When I'm done with this, I can go over it and I can recreate the key. It's the same depth as one, so I have it there, and I'm smoothing out one and two, because they are at the same de depth, and they are evenly, and they are even now, so I'm finally, or sanding it down to make it smooth, that way I can see any mark that goes across that. Again, I only do this because 
dips can make it harder to see sometimes, so it's the only reasoning. Here's our key so far. Let's look at this to see what marks are on it currently, just to make sure we don't mistake those after we turn this again. And there is our open. So now that we have it open, let's give it another little shake. That last bit of bidding on there. And that is number two. And then we'll go ahead and hit it with the round file now. There we go, not too much. And maybe it was too much. Let's see. If it was, that's okay, because we can just measure the key, go back through, and just make sure we don't overdo it in that spot. Yep. So I think we just did two, just a little bit too much there. There we go. Nope, we didn't. So something's just not hidden right, so I'm gonna do this again, see if there's any marks. And there's not. So I am correct in assuming that two is a little too far down. Yep, because if we turn it and lift it a little bit, it works. So that's us lifting the number two right there. And there we go, there's our open. So here's our bidding. And there's our master number five now with the key. All right, everyone, thanks for watching.